Welcome everyone again. Today we are going to learn more letters and I hope soon we will be able to finish them all. Now just to remind you before we took all those letters A, Ba, Ta, Tha, Ja, Ha, Kha, Da, Dha, Ra, Za, Sa, Sha. So those are all the letters we learned until now. So today we are going to take uh, a couple of them uh, we will take until uh, actually uh, sa and da and ta and da then we will see if it's good to give you more letters I'm trying not to give you too much every class so you can practice and take your time so let us see how those letters are written you know those letters like we made them in a group somehow uh, which mean like we made the sa and the sha together just to show you that they are the same the only difference is the dots the same as the ha and the kha the only difference between them this one does not have a dot this one have a dot in the top same as the ja they are three they are very similar in the look except the ja have a dot in the middle inside this one kha dot in the top this one ha does not have a dot at all sin or sa we say sin when it's by itself sa and sha they are very similar except the dots the sha have a three dots now today we will take sa and ba so let us see how those letters work You see, before this, the letter S, I added a little comma here in the top. Uh, this one is just to tell you that this is not S. Just have attention that the SA, not SA. SA, SA. So please listen carefully how we pronounce it. SA, SA, SA. You need to practice that because the more accuracy you give it the better you speak Arabic now for sure this will not be easy for you uh, because it, you don't have those letters in your language but uh, I think by practice you can make it come out from your mouth so sa, 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 like you make it long you know when you say s, s it's, it's a, it is a light thing when you say s, Actually, your mouth is almost closed, but you are opening your lips, and you are making making this the the, the sound you you force the sound to come this way. Sa, sa, sa. Now this is how the sa is written, as we see, and uh, and uh, you know, like this is in the beginning. The beginning mean in the beginning of the word. This is where it is in the middle, and the middle mean between two letters, not necessarily in the middle exactly. At the end, it is the last letter. So, you remember, just to refresh your memory, we said before that when a letter at the end, uh, the letter go to the original shape. Go back to the original shape. What does that mean? It's mean that, as you see here with me, just try to use the pen this thing here is to connect but the the pen is still in the original shape as you see here you see it it's the same exactly except in here we have a little connect because this letter here is going to connect to something before it however in some cases not only uh, not necessarily to connect as you remember we mentioned to you few letters which they do not connect uh, as an example I will write the word Sarsur 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 in Arabic mean uh, let me type it for you uh, mean cockroach I'm sure that this is not a nice word to learn but we are learning language so 
You better know how to say it. Sar sur. <coughs> sar sur. As you see it. You notice with the word sar sur that uh, how it's connected in the beginning. This is sa, as we said, as, as the same as here. You know? Uh, and how it's connected the letter after it so it doesn't matter really like here it's look like the same as here right i mean here this part if you notice with me is the same as this part the reason because this one is a ra and does not connect to the letter after it so the sa will look like it is in the beginning again which means we do not make a little tail to connect you remember we said to you here in this case we have because it in the middle we have to connect here and we have to make a little connection here but you notice here that the letter, letter saw is coming as if it is in the beginning even though it is not in the beginning why because the letter before it is a ra and ra does not accept connection from the left as you remember we mentioned to you those letters which do not accept connection you notice here when we write the letter sa, just take a note to please, that you cannot write the letter sa just by drawing uh, like this. You have to add an edge after it. If you don't add that thing, that is not sa. So be careful, don't ever uh, forget that. So the connection is uh, from this part. Let us show you which means the connection for the letter after it is considered from here. You know what I mean? So, sa, this is sa. Now the connection will come, whatever connection after it. You get the point? So if you don't, if you don't make that edge, this edge I'm talking about is here. You are not writing the letter correctly. You see it? You have to add it. You see it? This thing. This little thing. In other way, you see when we cut the tail of the saw, we cut it from here. And we take off this part from the original letter. But we keep this little tiny thing attached. You get the point? Same for the letter after it, da. This letter is actually, uh, the Arabic is called the language of the letter da. Uh, why? Because according to many, they say, I'm not sure if this is true or not, uh, because uh, there's many things we learn in the Middle East, it turned to be not true at all, so I cannot really guarantee this information. But this is what is very popular, even in universities that this is a language of the dad. Dad means the letter da. Da supposedly is the only, Arabic is the only language have this letter. Da. 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 You see the difference between the da and the sa is only the dot. There is no other difference. And the same rules go for both. So like here, in the middle we have to connect it, and here we have to connect it. And at the end, this is a connection. Unless it is a word, like what we saw here, so it can be always disconnect. So let us say, uh, I'm going to write a word which is, uh, excuse my language, I don't mean to be rude, but we are teaching language again, right? So... I'm going to show you a word which is not usual about writing the letter uh, uh, da. Uh, let us say uh, let us type two words here. I'm trying to find better word from the one that came to my mind. Uh, let us see. 
Okay. Let us go for the word marad. Marad means illness. Marad. If you want to say someone is ill, we say marid. All right. So marad. If someone is working as a nurse, we say mumarid. Now later we will go deep in the language and we start taking those words and how we how we can regenerate. I will give you a very easy rule actually in Arabic which nobody teach. Uh, to teach you how to generate words by from word which means like you know the word the original and then from the original you can generate words in a very easy rule without memorizing all the like the, the cases of the because every every word can you can play with it and you can make it uh, mean many things like as you see here marad which means illness then became marid which means the l one then became a marid which is the uh, nurse but this is uh, like this is a male a male nurse uh, later we will tell you how to make a differentiation between male and female in arabic so now marad you see here the letter ba it's coming back to the original right if you see the original here this is the original here it is the same as the last letter here why because simply it is at the end as we said it is at the end the only different here you will notice that here there's a little connection why there's a connection because as we said you see here i'm talking about here here does not have any connection why because this letter ra does not accept to connect so the letter after it is have to go to the original with with no with no need for this little thing to connect because there is nothing to connect anyway as you remember we said to you those few letters like ra wa za I'm, I'm using my mouse sorry for that da and the you know those those letters they don't accept any connection so therefore whatever whatever will come after them have to go back to the original shape it doesn't matter if it's letter sa or different letter that is not the question when when uh, when a letter come after those letters in sorry at the at the end uh, the letters have to go back to the original now always actually the letters go back to the original but what we are saying here that in the case of those letters the letter go back to the original with no connection as we see here you see this connection little connection we do not need it no more that's what i'm saying However, always the letter at the end go back to the original, except if it's connected, we have to add this little connector here. And in the case of the middle, we have connector from here and we have connector from here. Now, the letter da is the same as letter sa. When you write it, you have to add this edge here, otherwise you are not writing it correctly. You see it? In the case of the original, you do not need this because it's already here actually, but it doesn't show, you know, like it is part of the curve, this curve here. All right. So when you write letter sa and da, after you draw this balloon, which is a f like a kind of a flat balloon, uh, you m you have to make this edge after it. Just remember that. So like uh, as an example we we learned that letter sa if we go up you remember letter sa and sha in let in the case of letter sa and sha if you don't do those three edges you have to do it this way if you are not doing this you are not writing sa and when you write sha is the same you have to draw those three edges 
So this is not an R. This is how the letter is. So don't 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 forget. And the sha, the difference between sha and sa is the dot. All right. So in order to write sa, I have always to remember those three edges. This is sa and our right sha. Sha and sa is the same exactly, except the the dots between them. This is the only different. And if it is like a connected sa, so I will make a connection and then I draw the little three edges, and that is sa. That's it. If I'm drawing, if I am I have in the middle sha, I make a little connection, then I draw three edges and I put a three dots. That is sha. All right. Now, what if I make one edge? Let us say, uh, let us. I will show you something so, so you can be careful. What if I draw uh, the if uh, what if I write the letter tha? You remember we have letter is called tha, tha. Tha is very close to sha, except sa, or sorry, tha is like this and three dots if it's in the middle. So this is why if you don't write, if you don't draw those three edges, people, they might think it is tha. They will think you don't mean sha, you mean tha. Because both have three dots. The only difference between them, that those have three edges and this one have one edge. So if I say here, uh, let us say, uh, thaub. And let us say, thaub mean dress. You see, this is a, this is a one edge and three dots. That will make it tha. Uh, thum. Thum mean garlic. Uh, but if I write the word sharm, like sharm sheikh, you know, it's an area in the Egypt. Sharm, you have to write those three edges. So always be careful when you write them. The, the, the shah always have to come with the three edges and the three dots. The same for the sa, I have to come with three edges without dots. Now this is the same here, we go back, we clean the board, and we go down to our letters. Same for the letter sa now. This edge here is part of the letter, don't think it's something extra. So when you, when you draw or you write the letter sa, you have to add this edge at the end, after it I mean. Unless it is like this, it's original because this edge is here actually, but it's part of the curve. All right. So I want to write sa. Somebody says to me, write sa. You see, there is an edge here. Otherwise, people they might think it's a different letter because there's many letters they are close. Especially with handwriting, uh, sometimes it's confused. Like it's not the same as uh, as a print writing. It's you know different. It's uh, the the print is a lot more clear. The letters are more clear, but handwriting can be very confusing. If you don't make it clear, all right. So now we took the the sa and the da. I will write for you a word, which has uh, the letter da. Let us see which one. We will. Like Muhammad, he said as an example, when a Muslim he pray. Uh, let me show you. Maybe maybe I should show you. Uh, in the screen the hadith we are going to talk about hold on Muhammad he said when the shaitan when the Muslims they pray uh, shaitan he run and he have a zurat a zurat Actually, Zurat, it can be like some dialect they say Zurat, some dialect they say Durat. However, the most pop popular one 
is Durat with letter Ta. And I will show you. We did not take the letter Tha yet. Uh, here we go. This is the Hadith. I'm going to show you in the English one. You see it says, when Satan hears the call of, to the prayer, he turns back and the break winds. Now what the break winds in Arabic is Durat. For sure this is funny and something stupid to say, but welcome to Islam, what you can do. Uh, so it says here, Inna shaytana idha sami'a nida'a bis salati ahala lahu Durat. Durat, here we go, this is the word we are, we are talking about, writing something with the letter Da and Ta. You see the letter Da? Let me highlight it for you. Maybe until now you do, not, you do not know which one I'm talking about. Here we go. This is the word. You will notice with me, the first letter is Da. You see how it's written? Da. I like my handwriting. This is Da. And then Ra. And then Alif. And then Ta. Alright. We did not take the letter Ta. Right. So Durat. In order to write Durat. You have to add this edge. At, at, at the end. Uh, after the letter. Durat. This is the letter we are talking about. Durat. All right. Here you will see the letter Sa. Sawtahu. Sa. You see Sa. There is an edge after the letter. Not only the letter. So Sa. We do not write Sa like this without edge. You have to make an edge. Sa. All right. You see Sa here again. Sawtahu. All right. Just to make it clear, and I hope you will learn something from the wisdom of the Prophet of Islam. From now you know that each time the Muslim they pray, a lot of metho, methan is going to break in the wind because shaitan is farting because he don't like to hear the prayer of Allah. And you can imagine how much fart shaitan he need to do so. And this is explaining global warming. Now we go back to our topic. So, sa as you see, and then Da. Those are the letters we learned. Now let us go to new letters. We have Ta. You see, this one is not the same as Da. This is Ta. Ta. As like you have, you have a balloon, and the balloon suddenly like, bum, you know? Ta. 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 All right? So it's the same as ta, but I'm adding like a little thing here to show you that this is not really ta, it's close. Ta. So try to say ta, not ta. Because we have letter, it is ta. So people, they might get confused, what do you mean? What do you mean ta? So we have ta, and then we have letter dha. This is dha. This is ta. Ta. Dha. 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 The. So this is the, and this is ta. Now you notice that letter ta and the after writing them, there is no edge like sa and uh, uh, and uh, and da. I don't know if you understand what I mean. Like you will see, there is no edge here. Right? Remember, we, we said when you write ta and the, you have to put this edge. There is no edge here. So remember that. This letter does not have this edge here. Not the same as letter uh, sa and the. So this one has no edges. Just to make that shape and you have the letter written correctly. All right? So let me write something. And this is how it is in the beginning, in the middle, and at the end. I think the rule of the middle and the end is very is simple, right? Uh, and the, in the beginning, all what you need is just you add a little. If the letter, let us make a rule. If the letter have 
any kind of curves any kind of curves as an example so you see the curve this is the curve I'm talking about we write different letter ha you see the curve this is a curve or any letter similar like ha the difference between them is the dot it's end with the ja the dot is underneath ha the dot is in the top ha has no dot uh, sha there's a curve all right those are curves there's more letters have curves but we did not take them yet so however those when we when we write the letter at the end those curves they go back which means the letter remember go back to the original all what we need to do if this letter can connect with something before it we just add a connection here something to connect a tail to connect very simple all right now if those letters are in the middle we delete this we delete the curves so if the letter is in the in the middle it doesn't matter what the letter i'm just giving you a, a public rule like i mean for everything almost this is letter ha by itself is going to be like this if it's going to be in the middle i mean sorry in the end if it's in the, at the middle we write this and this is ha it just you can write ha like this if you want and make a connection there's many more pretty way to do ha like you do this and then you do this all right so there's like many many ways to write it but the important is that the the uh, it, it is just you take the curve off this is the letter we take this curve off this curve this tail come back if the letter ha is at the end because as we said letters go back to the original at the end even if they are going to be connected all right same for the letter seen sheen or sha those curves they go if we are going to have them in the middle or even in the beginning so if we have the letter seen or sa in the beginning we say uh, sayara sayara mean a car this is letter sa you see the curve this curve here is gone we cut it off we keep the three edges same for the letter sheen or sha all right uh, so let us say ishara three edges and three dots ishara we cut this curve out all right so this is letter ta and this is letter dha remember them and this is how it's written in the beginning middle end beginning middle end again when we say middle we don't mean exactly the middle we mean between two letters and those are just to connect all right and here there's a connection continue but there's no need for edge there's no edge here all right there's no edge here it's not the same as letter sa or da let us continue with more letters please don't forget if you have any question uh, i will not uh, i will not be able to know that's you you understand what i'm saying unless you ask me uh, so I can talk about it in the coming video. Now those, this is letter A. This is a, this is really a little bit hard for you. Ah, ah, ah. Is kind of difficult letter to pronounce. So do your best to pronounce it. This is how A is, and the rules goes for all. Like everything we said about the previous letters, it's the same actually. All of them are the same. In the beginning. You know, in the middle, there's a little contain like connection here. 
you see and this is at the end go back to original and little, little connection all right ah ah and this is letter ga 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 those who speak french they have no problem to say it ga huh? like when you say arab the french they say arab they don't say arab the letter i think ra turned to them to be ga so arab present perfectly in letter ga 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 and this is how it is and the difference between letter ain or a and ga is the dot you see here ga have a dot the a does not have a dot there's no dot here here we go this is the a and this is the ga here you see the dot in the a there is no dot so let us write uh, a word have letter a and letter ga a by itself we call it the ain and ga by itself we call it rin however this is not really important as i said so focus on it as a and ga let us write something actually let me write the word ain ain in arabic have many meaning but we will take the most popular one which is i This is letter A and this is letter Ya. So A and then the second letter is Ain Ya. Ya original letter is like this. We did not take it yet. And then the last letter is Noon N N, which present N. All right. So Ain, but we cannot write the words by disconnecting the letter. So we have to connect. So remember. We said when we write, like letter ya, you notice here change uh, in a very strange way. It's different from all other letters. You see, and noon too actually, because suddenly the letter a stayed the same, and then ya became an edge and two dots. So this uh, dock, letter ya looked like a dot, I mean like a dock by itself, suddenly became this edge and two dots underneath and that are noon in all right because it's at the end go back to the original ain ain which mean i all right uh, now let us write something for letter ga which is this one uh, rain Rhyme. Ra, and this is letter Ra, okay, Ra, Ra, Ra. You have to add that dot, otherwise people will not know that you are saying letter Ra. All right, Rhyme. This is the two dots here, and now we write Rhyme. Rhyme mean a cloud. All right. Uh, so the rules, like let's say, there is very few letters, and when they are exist, we will tell you about it. Like you know, we mentioned letter ya and letter na, and actually we will find letter qa. But those we did not take. Soon we will take them. Those they change in the shape, in the look somehow. Uh, actually, uh, qa did not change much. Uh, so let us take it off from this list uh, but yeah and noon they change in different way so like those are kind of an exception soon we will take them and we will see how those letters work as we showed you before I mean already now because you notice yeah became like this here an edge with two dots so I, I believe this is enough for this class uh, follow with me with more letters and soon we will finish them and soon we will start taking live class uh, for uh, uh, for like to to practice uh, making words and uh, how, what what is the best and the easiest rules to make a sentence because arabic is very it's not really easy when it's come to grammar so i will teach you the logic of the arabic not 
the grammar because if you go by the grammar it's very complicated uh, very extremely complicated so I will teach you the logic which will make you be able to write correctly without going in the tough grammar of Arabic which is really ugly so uh, and, and don't worry by the way about the grammar like Arab who they are growing up in the Middle East they have degrees from universities in the Middle East this is their first language and when it's time to grammar the grammar they are really really don't do good all right so don't feel bad if you make a mistake in the grammar this is very normal however the rule I will teach you will give you the the comfort to speak the Arabic without feeling that you are doing or saying something wrong because you will do it right it just you know like uh, as I say always there is a uh, you know there is a teacher who who make things complicated for you and there's a teacher who make it easy for you uh, for the same topic you know so either he choose like you know we can go to the top of the mountain in in many ways uh, either we climb rock by rock or simply we just fly there all right and uh, if the target is to reach the top of the mountain, now who care how we reach there? With this, I say God bless. Thank you very much. And don't forget to subscribe and invite your friends to join our class. And we will meet very soon again with more class. Thank you.